Hey all, Tom here and welcome back to another video on the Racing Joker channel. Hope everyone is safe and healthy and finding things to do during this whole pandemic situation. I found something to do, play video games. It's nothing new. But when I'm not doing car related content or playing racing games, I actually play other stuff. And one of the games I play is Star Wars The Old Republic. Over the last few weeks, I have been grinding to level up my gear so that at some point I can participate in ranked PvP. I don't look forward to the inevitable toxicity of ranked, but there's a ranked reward I want that I intend to get one way or another. The time I have spent grinding has allowed me to get more familiar with the Sentinel and overall just get a better understanding of the game. I don't know how far that will get me, but the black silver crystal looks awesome and there's nothing else like it. It also took me a little while to figure out that the best ways to gear up at max level in this game right now is through Renown levels and just doing lots of flashpoints, whether it's Veteran Mode or Master Mode. I also suspect that the learning curve for Standard War Zones is extremely different to Ranked and there's no in-between. Plus, ever since I started playing years ago, I've pretty much been exclusively PvE. But this is all part of a challenge I'm doing on my Twitch channel, to collect 100 lightsabers of unique designs with unique colors, and the black silver crystal is the hardest crystal to get in the game as far as I'm aware. And I've got to say, this journey was actually a lot of fun, but there was a lot of learning involved. At first, all I thought I needed was to get gear level 306. Apparently, that was the easy part. After that, you need to get tactical items and armor shells to put mods in to get set bonuses, and then you have a potential tiny possible maybe chance of not sucking and getting yelled at. Difficult to say. And it's funny, because I've been playing this game a lot off and on since 2013, 2014, and during these couple of weeks of grinding, I have encountered things in the game I have never seen nor heard of that have been in it for years which just goes to show how huge it is. My collection of sabers is pretty small right now. I've basically dedicated everything to getting these crystals for the last couple weeks. After this is over, progress will go back to normal and I'll start collecting sabers again. So an essential part of gearing up at level 75 is not just acquiring the gear, but also getting tech fragments. The best way to get these are by leveling up renowned ranks, because you get 100 per rank, and doing flashpoints because bosses drop them, and you get lots of rewards that lead to more tech fragments. You can also get them by deconstructing things, which reminds me, a lot of crystals and things can no longer be deconstructed to learn their schematics anymore. Are the days of reverse engineering over? Tech fragments are used to buy end-game gear items. It could be shells, mods, or just pieces of armor themselves. It feels weird for me to be so well-geared though. Most of the time I spend in this game, I spend it doing pretty casual things. I've never participated in much of the end-game content until now, so when I start seeing lots of items with the legendary rank in my inventory, it feels pretty weird, but also pretty good. I decided to use white crystals as a placeholder color since I keep getting given new lightsabers and I don't want to just fill my collection with just random sabers. I want them to be hand-picked special items. As far as I can tell, Hammer Station is the winner's choice if you want to grind flashpoints. It looks like you can occasionally give your item rating a premature boost by winning loot rolls after beating bosses but there aren't really any shortcuts. Believe me, I looked. Not too shabby. I assume there's an Imperial equivalent in the other fleet, but the random gear spoils of war vendor is kind of awesome. You can spend tech fragments to get the chance to get a piece of equipment that is an improvement over something you already have. Which is neat, because the gear you get from the spoils of war vendor, renowned crates, and flashpoints and bosses and so on, seems to be determined by whatever your character's item rating is at the time. We're getting close to 300, but still under. But because we're in the 290s, we have a chance of getting 300 rated gear now. 
I don't know how or why my groupmates have a ton of buffs, but holy moly. I'll be honest, I was worried Master Mode flashpoints would be super hard, but they're actually pretty chill. The only difference is that they take longer. They don't feel harder than Veteran Mode by any measurements of any kind. Heroics are also great ways to fill the time it takes to get queued up. And now finally in the 11th recording I have made an alliance with another player. We ended up working together to gear up and collect tech fragments. I'm already pretty close to a 306 rating as it is. Wow. I really gotta start decorating my strongholds. I feel like that's a whole nother part of the game I have barely even scratched the surface of. Look at this big dude. He's huge. Correct me in the comments, but I'm guessing this is something you get from Zyost somehow, right? So another cool thing I've learned from Lantivra, or Poffel, I don't really know which character their main is, but it is possible to do Master Mode Hammer Station with two players accompanied by companions, with one companion set as DPS and the other as a healer. Alright, alright. We are so close to 306 now, we're slowly edging our way there. We're at 305 currently. <laughs> and this is about when I realized my new objective was to collect tons of tech fragments so that I can get armor shells. Up until this point, I thought being at item rating 306 was enough. But nope. Ranked demands armor shells and your soul. And at this point in the game, I felt like I didn't have either of those things. On behalf of the Republic First Fleet, you have my thanks. Another good thing to definitely do, especially if you don't play this game 24-7, is to do weeklies for veteran and master mode flashpoints, because they're pretty easy to do, and they reap a lot of rewards. Pawful has returned. We're on our way to getting the first piece of the Descent armor set, which was recommended to me for the Sentinel. All right, we finally got our first piece of the set. Yes, your eyes don't deceive you. I just confused myself and deconstructed the descent armor piece and wasted a bunch of my time. Well, Looks like this grind just got longer. Very well. So apparently hard mode false emperor is bugged. I didn't know that, but I know now. God dang. It's failing. This is a good death. I guess now all we've got left is a super cut of me completing flashpoints and finally getting all the gear I need. I'm not sure I really deserve that achievement, but okay. Oh god. Heck. I'm alive! Or not. I gotta say, the Rakul flashpoints are my favorite, especially Kaon Under Siege. 
No bugs this time, Malgus. Oh heck, not fair. Wait, what? What happened? I should be dead. Oh, not again. Well, what do you know? We're joining a guild instead of making one. I'm loving this corona lag. I can't tell if Depths of Manan is bugged or not, but it this part feels impossible. I'm taking you down. Oh yeah, conquest objectives are good for tech fragments too. At first I didn't realize you could get rewarded for doing them though. You know what's crazy? By the end of this video, I will have gained over 70 or 80 renown ranks. This is my favorite flashpoint, Kaon Under Siege. I like the atmosphere of the dungeon and you get a lot of rewards and it's fairly straightforward. Checking in. Still no enemy contact. Uh, what happened? Did I just fall through the world? Isn't there supposed to be an NPC here? Apparently going outside fixes it. Oh no, this is definitely me falling through the world. What? Ah! 143,000 damage! That'll do it, kids. That'll kill you. Eh, let's not talk about what just happened. We're super close to having a full descent set now. I've never been so well geared before in my entire SWOTOR career. It feels good, but holy moly, it takes forever. Huh? I don't think I've ever gotten a roll in need reward before. I always figured support rolls got those more. I always kind of figured the DPS market was oversaturated. Oh, we've got some evidence pointing towards the next crossover event. Here we see the Hulk helping some Republic agents recapture Hammer Station. I failed you. Here we go. Boom. Now we just need a handful of tech fragments and we'll be good to go. I can deconstruct some things to get us there, rather than try and do another heroic or flashpoint. And one final tip for the video. Crafting lockboxes is a great way to make a few small extra tech fragments, because you can deconstruct most of the items they drop. <sighs> Just five more. Ideal, master. There is no excuse for this failure. And we've got plenty of lockboxes to spare. Oh, an orange crystal. That's unexpected. Finally! 3,000 tech fragments! Now for the final piece of the armor set.
Some of my stream viewers may wonder why I didn't just stream this whole journey. And well, I considered it, but given how much time this has taken and how much footage it ended up creating, well, if these were streams and people were to watch back my playthrough, these would be the ones I would skip. I'd rather see myself build groups, collect items, and explore the game and constantly find new goals to complete. I can't imagine watching grinds are fun in real time. Alright, let's put all the parts into the shells and equip them! And don't worry, I at first forget to put enhancements in some of them. I catch and fix my mistake pretty quickly. But here we are, several days of grinding later, and now I have... one character with basically full endgame gear. Yes, I know there are augments and all sorts of other things, but I'm going to settle for this for now and try my hand at ranked. Wish me luck, guys. I remember the last time I tried ranked. I sucked, and people made an effort to let me know. Only this time I'll be recording, and I... won't really care. I'm gonna try and get better, though, and get that black-silver crystal along the way. Either way, it'll be fun for me. Hope you guys are having fun playing your games, watching your shows. If you ever want to join me in this game, I play on the Starforge server. The game is free to play and is a lot of fun, and I do enjoy playing with my viewers. I stream this game on my Twitch channel, but anyways, I'm gonna take a break now and chill. Have a good one, everybody. As always, if you like what you see, then you will like what I've got planned. Take it easy, everybody, and keep it crazy. Peace.